Good morning, besties. It's your favorite train wreck here, Annie, and I'm looking a little bit worse for wear today. I just woke up. I'm really tired, but I have a bunch of stuff I need to do today. But I also wanted to just get this video out because you guys have been asking me to do a video. I've like spoken about my like different backgrounds and the languages that I speak, but I don't think I ever like really talked about it like why i speak the languages that i do and i also get questions about my skincare which i just talked about in my last video but also um about my makeup routine so i thought why don't i just combine everything into one and do like a multilingual skincare makeup life walk through with you guys so basically what i'll be doing is talking about my life in the various languages that i know and switch between because that's basically what goes on in my head i don't just think in english i think in like just random languages so that i just cleanse my face now i'm gonna go in with my toner and i'll be using the cotton pad sometimes i soak my face like this but i'm like my face isn't that bad today. I don't need to like dry out any acne spots or anything. So I'm just using it normally. Um, where should I start and what language should I use first? Okay, možemo početi sa svojim maternim jezikom. Kako se čuje, moja gramatika baš nije tako dobra. Moja mama je hrvatica, ali ja sam bila rođena u Švicarskoj. Next, I'm going in with my PDR and Ampule, which is really good for repairing um, damaged skin. Ja sam bila rođena u Švicarskoj. I kad sam bila mala, mislim možda... Koliko sam bila stara? Tri? Možda tri ili četiri? Moja mama je htjela da nauči njemački, ali ne od nje, jer se moglo čuti da ona nije iz Švicarske. I u Švicarskoj oni imaju baš ovaj švicarski dijalekt. I ja sam mogla naučiti njemački normalno preko kada gledam televizor. Nisam mogla pričati njihov Švicarski i njemački. Now I'm using my skin balm. Super, super moisturizing. Can't live without it. Like I said in my last video, if I don't use this, I just have the worst day. My makeup doesn't sit right. I just don't feel good. My face feels tight. Um, this got me through the driest winter here in Korea. Um, usually my skin like cracks and you can like, it gets flaky, but with this, no. Also, der hat jetzt auch nicht mal auf Schweizerdeutsch. Meine Mutter hat gewollt, dass ich Schweizerdeutsch lerne, weil sie eigentlich nur Hochdeutsch hat können reden. Darum hat sie mich, ich glaube, ein Jahr, ein Jahr früher als normal in die Kinderkrippe geschickt. Und ich habe kein Wort, kein Wort Deutsch können. Und ich meine, ich bin ein bisschen gemobbt worden, weil ich schwarz war und nicht mehr reden können. Ich würde normalerweise das brauchen, das hier, Spot Cream, aber heute habe ich keine Pickel, darum brauche ich es glaube ich nicht. Wie machen das die Beauty Gurus, wenn sie reden und Sachen zeigen? Hier ist meine Under Eye Cream. In meinem letzten Video habe ich auch gesagt, wenn ich das hier nicht brauche, unter meinen Augen, wenn ich wear Concealer, it creases. Aber ich bin in die Kinderklippe. <lacht> ich bin in die Kinderklippe gegangen. Und nachher habe ich einfach normal, wie alle meine Freunde und Freundinnen, Schweizerdeutsch reden <lacht> Ich habe in der Schweiz und in der Schweiz reden. Und dann, ich meine Mama hat gesagt, dann auch im Englisch. If it was nighttime, I'd be using my SGM sheet masks, but I prefer using them at night because I like how it makes my skin feel. But you can see, like, you guys always ask me, like, why do you look so glowy? Like, it's skincare mainly, but I'll also show you the um, makeup that I use. Before we continue, so 
if you want to get my skincare box like I said in the last video you can I'll link everything down below you can get it for $89.99 and if you were to buy everything separately it would be over like around $200 so you're getting it for $89.99 plus you also get a coupon to use at like a um, skincare clinic in Korea that's affiliated with Soul Guide Medical and I got you guys a deal so a lot of you guys are actually asking to do the skin scan so I thought why don't I just make the coupon for the skin scan so from now on the coupon that goes along with my beauty box is for the like skin scan which tells you you know what your skin type is if you have sun damage like all that jazz when I had it, like it humbled me, it told me things I didn't know about my skin. So altogether, the value of the box is $400, but you get it for $89.99. And full disclosure, I do get a small commission off the sales of the box, but I've been using these products for like a year now. And the only reason why I started doing this collaboration is because I was already using all these products. So I was like, you know what, like, all my subscribers want to know like why my skin suddenly is shining <laughs> so why not also für alle meine deutschen subscribers sagt man so sagt man das so um abonnementen abono abon abonnement abonnenten ihr habt sicher gar nichts von meinem Schweizerdeutsch verstanden. Für meine englisch sprechenden Subscribers, <lacht> Deutsch und Schweizerdeutsch, ich spreche eine Art Sch Deutsch, das eigentlich eine unofficial language. Die meisten Leute, die nicht von der Schweiz sind, können Schweizerdeutsch eigentlich gar nicht verstehen. Darum müssen Kinder in der Deutsch sprechenden Schweiz Hochdeutsch lernen. Alle Schweizer können Hochdeutsch, aber wir reden mit unserem normalen Local Dialect. Wie man sieht, habe ich schon lange nicht mehr Deutsch gesprochen und man hört es sicher auch. Manchmal denke ich, dass ich gar nicht sagen sollte, dass ich Deutsch spreche, weil I don't know, I'm struggling. Um, I just put Primer on. Diesen Tipp habe ich auf TikTok gesehen. Okay, wie das im Donner TikTok? Prvo se stavia Primer, onda se stavia Puder, i onda se stavia Setting Spray. Mislim, da se tako radi. When I do this trick, my makeup tends to stay and last a lot longer. Before, I wasn't really able to do something like this because my skin was way too dry and I prefer like a glowy look. But because of all the skincare that we put on before, the skin glows underneath. Kupila sam ove green tea mist od Innisfria. Baš mi se sviđa i to isto uzimam sa sobom u torbi kada, na primjer, vidim da mi lice malo suho izgleda. Samo mogu... Ovako. And it refreshes the skin and it smells really nice. Und man kann sehen den glow. Wie man hat gesehen, habe ich Deutsch und Hochdeutsch Verlernt. Also Alltags rede ich normalerweise nochmal entweder Kroatisch, wo meine Mutter mich jeden Tag anlitet, und Englisch mit meinen Freunden hier in Korea. Leider kann ich äh, Koreanisch nicht gut genug, dass ich könnte sagen könnte, dass ja, ich rede Koreanisch. I'm not even gonna try and pretend like, you know, like, hi, I speak Korean. Let me just pretend for a sec, like, no. I can get by, but I definitely can't speak freely as I can in my other languages, even though, like, now that I'm talking in my other languages, I'm just like, do I even speak any other languages besides English? Like, I'm struggling so bad. So I'm using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in 300C. I always mix it with this bad boy. This is a Korean makeup cushion. This is actually slightly too dark for me. The shade range isn't that good. It was this one or one slightly lighter. I would say this is like my summer shade, which it's raining outside, it's not quite summertime yet, I haven't tanned, but they only had this shade left, so I just mix it with my Anastasia. But mini motor dwoa, Vonnie, yeah, mixy. It defeated the class. 
hat sie wollen, dass ich Englisch lerne, aber mit einem britischen Akzent. <lacht> also, dann sind wir nach England gezogen. Und das habe ich so gehasst. Ich habe wirklich nicht gehen. Ich ging sie wirklich sehr anders. Gewesen. How can I describe it? The best way I can describe it is like, like the girls seemed a lot more grown up. Billy so Coco, that's it. Yeah, that's got in a study. Over to the my normal Brazilian or English guy. In Australia, so makeup is a man. In Switzerland, in Switzerland, Switzerland, he ne nose tako puno makeup. Tamo that's got it. So that's got in a only which in my mascara, eyeliner. I ja kao, ja, ja još nisam ni nosila grudnjak. Ja, ja, ja sam mislila, ja sam premala za grudnjak. Ja ne mogu, to je, that's for women, you know. I might have been a little bit sheltered. You know, they wore handbags as the, uh, like school bags. And I'm just like here with my huge backpack. And it was a big culture shock. Došla sam tamo. I nisam baš mogla engleski pričati. Išla sam, moja mama me slala na engleske kursove, ali... I don't think I'm really the sort of person who can learn a language from like a textbook in a classroom setting. When I went to language school, like it was the same principle for, for Korean. Like feel like I was... It was like the best thing for me, which is why I stopped going to um, Korean school because That's just how my it's just how my mind works. In a half six months, I think, I have English fluent gelan. And actually, we had said that we were only for a year in England bleiben, and then we were going back. But by then, I had made friends. I was doing well in school. You know, I started off with literally like the worst level of English in my class to like being at the top of my class because I'm the sort of person who doesn't like being the worst at something so I was I would put in the bottom class for English and I work my way up the ironic thing was Katsumbila or the bottom class Yasumbila jedina zapravo što nije bila engleskinja like all those kids were native English speakers and English was their only their only language So I was just like, how can you, like, oh, that's, oh, that's kind of shady. And actually, those kids were mean and racist. So um, I'm gonna say it. I was just like in my head, like, how can you speak only one language and not even be good at that, you know? Ooh, I need to pluck my eye. I'm sorry, I need to pluck my eyebrows. That's not to say that England was the first country I faced racism in. Just before leaving Switzerland, I had like this beef with this guy in my like fourth grade class. And he would always call me the N-word. Uh, I don't even know if he truly knew what it meant, but he must have been hearing it at home. So I don't really blame him, I blame the parents. The teachers, like they would hear him say it, or I would go and tell on him, and they would act as if he just called me like a bad word, like a bitch or like dumb or something, not like a racially charged thing. That's crazy to me. Like now, knowing like if I, I don't think I ever like told my mom or I'd never told my mom how severe it was. But I remember there was times where my mom would, the bad bitch that she is, she literally like the teachers wouldn't do anything, and my mom would literally come onto the playground during recess, and she would be like, Annie, tell me which one of these boys told you that word. And at the time, I didn't know how bad that word is. So I would like point him out and she like tell him to like, if he knows what's good for him, like don't ever say that to my daughter again. But yeah, the school never really took it seriously, which is sad. He always just got a slap on the wrist. I feel like now, nowadays, that would be subject to expulsion. And he never really got told why it was bad either. I think he knew, I think he knew it was a bad thing to say, but I hope he has learned and I hope he doesn't use that word again. I still remember his name. Ja, ich immer gewusst, dass ich nicht in England bleibe. Aber ich habe auch das Gefühl gehabt, dass irgendwie, wenn ich zurück in die Schweiz bin gegangen, bin ich nicht ganz Schweizerin gewesen. Aber in England bin ich nicht ganz Engländerin gewesen. Und in Kroatien bin ich sowieso nicht Kroatin, wo, wo ich so ausgesehen habe. Nur so ein Jako ist ein Nadjo, kann ich wieder da mogu hrvatski. Nikad sam tamo živjela, zato isto sam znala da neću tamo, ne bi se tamo isto osjećala kao 
called Kuche. I think this is around the time I actually started making YouTube videos. It was like my second year of university and I just didn't feel very... I don't know what it was. I, I think like I was hanging around a bunch of rich white privileged kids who went to boarding school all their lives you know i grew up basically with a single mother like being helped by welfare by the state didn't go to didn't have like a super privileged background just a normal one if anything there was always like kind of like a disconnect <laughs> So I started my YouTube and I, I think I knew that the people that I was with, I knew that they were trash um, but I wouldn't admit it to myself so I actually like did my YouTube in secret because I knew that people would make fun of me which is sad like I was like 21 years old like what kind of what, what kind of people was I hanging around with when I was just like oh my god they'll make fun of me like that's what children do. I would understand if I felt like that when I was like 15. But the fact that I thought like my housemates would make fun of me, which they did once they did find out about my YouTube channel. Um, I'm using bronzer, the hula, hula bronzer. But yeah, I feel like I have a lot of like resentment towards my time in university. Um, it taught me a lot about people and you know, you are your only friend basically. I did make some really good friends I'm still friends with now, but only a handful. It taught me a lot about friendships, a lot, a lot about boys. Um, a lot about just respecting myself and having boundaries and stuff like that. On that, I just put a powder. Opet uzimam moj Innisfree Green Tea Mist. Rasfriškam svoje lice. Prije sam uvijek stavila um, eyeliner. Ja volim staviti trepavice. I trepavice što obožavam su Adele Foaming. Ove tu. I prije sam uvijek morala raditi eyeliner da se ne vidi da, da se ne vidi kao kako sam naljepila trepavice. Ali sada stavljam trepavice ispod svojih trepavicama. Vidla sam to isto na TikToku. I tako izgleda kao da imaš ove umjetne uh, eyelash extensions. You know what's wild? So I was really worried about launching my own skincare collaboration with Soul Guide Medical. Like I've had a bunch of my friends work with the company. I was just like, oh my God, like I don't think anyone's gonna care enough about like what I put on my face. But it's wild. They literally told me that they have to restock on certain products because like you guys are buying it so thank you so much for supporting me i genuinely genuinely hope you love the skincare like i i hope you love it as much as i do Pro especially for the face i would never recommend something that i myself wouldn't wear or i didn't think would be worth telling you guys about. I cut them in three sections. Kako se može vidjeti, pričam engleski puno boje od hrvatskog, od hrvatskog, hrvatski, vidi se isto da hrvatski, hrvatska gramatika mi baš ne ide. Don't you hate it when you look at the clock and you're just like, oh, I was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago and I'm still like struggling with my lashes. We're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm back from, um, a quick breakdown I had over my lashes because they wouldn't stick properly. I get a lot of questions about my lip color. Always kind of changes. Um, today I'm using a lipstick by Too Cool For School, which is a Korean brand in Hush Brown, number four demure. It's kind of like more of a ready brown. Uh, I do like nude, like brown, red nudes. But then what I do is I take my hula bronzer and literally just apply bronzer to my mouth. And that gives it the shade that I want. So if you have like a, a similar shade, try using bronzer on your lips and it also mattifies it. I don't feel like I spoke a lot of German today. In this video, I'm sorry. I just discovered that I can't speak German anymore. <laughs> Anyway, maybe I should do these videos more often so I can practice my language skills because they are they are fading away. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you want to get my skincare box, the glow, no highlight, no nothing, then you can get my skincare box down below. Um, I'll link everything. Thank you so much to the people that have already bought it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.